Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today I'm going to be making some little envelope pockets and I got this idea from Gail Agostinelli. Um, I think it's how you say her name and she has a YouTube channel and she was doing a challenge by Roxy Creations and so I watched both of their videos and I did not have either of the same size supplies that they had. So, but I did have these little bags here to use and so I'm just using what I have. And these bags um, I got off Amazon and I will link them below if they still have them. And they measure four and a half by two and a half. And so this is just another little project that I'm adding to my steampunk journal. And so I'm going to also be using um, Line Dot Arrows Vintage Ephemera Kit. And I've just cut out a bunch of pieces from that kit. And I did print this kit smaller, I sized it down. And I'm also gonna continue to use the steampunk kit. Here's some labels that I'll be using from this her steampunk kit and this one is these little um, tickets are from her ephemera steampunk kit so I'll link all that below and so this uh, video is still part of her design team project that I'm creating with her steampunk kit and so I just wanted to show you how I'm going my version of these little um, pocket envelopes that uh, Gail and Roxy both created so First, you, you're supposed to add dictionary paper. So I have some dictionary paper here and I may have to tear some more sheets out. And I'm just going to, um, it's supposed to fit on this flap. So I wanna get this little edge off. I think I'll just, I think I'll cut it. I'm just gonna cut down through here. And then let me see how wide I need it for this little flap here. And so there we go. Let me just mark it here. All right. So now I'm just going to cut it down through there. And hopefully I cut it straight. It's straight enough. These little bags are not perfectly straight either. But um, I did like how they worked with the tags that came in this kit. So I thought these would be good. Little pockets in the journal as well as they will make good little um, journaling spots. Okay, so I'm going to add that dictionary page there. And let me see if I can just line these up and cut several at one time. Okay. This looked like a fun little project, and so, so I thought I would try it. And I'm going to be using some stamps to stamp on my dictionary page as well. And I don't have a lot of steampunk style stamps, so I went through my stamps and found things that I thought would fit the steampunk, steampunk genre. Let's see. Let me get another sheet out. So let me see here. Let me just pull out a page. It can just be random. Little page of the dictionary. And so. Just want to get all the little papers cut out first. And then. We can. Start gluing and stamping and doing all the other parts. So I hope you've been following along with my little steampunk series. I have several videos, and I'll put those in the links too so you can see all the videos that I have so far for my um, steampunk videos. And I'm having a lot of fun with this with this journal, just creating things to go with it. I haven't even started the actual journal itself. I have just been um, making little things to go in it, little pockets, little tags, and different things. and. Um, I've actually got, I found a book that's going to look great for this, I think. It, it was a Leonardo da Vinci book, but it had a lot of pictures and things of, you know, when he sketched out different machines and things. So I think that'll look cute in my journal as well. So I, um, I'm excited to get that out and start working with it as well. So let me just trim that off. And then let's just see here. And each bag is a little different, so I may have to trim it just a little off the bottom. So there we go. And so then, let's see. Let's go ahead and I'm going to measure each one out with the bag and then I'll stamp them. Let's 
see if that one fits beautifully. This one needs maybe a little trimming off the bottom. Yes. So I'll just trim that little white part off. That's nice. And then we have one more. I'm just going to trim just a little off the bottom of that one as well. And that one says Candle Power, 1877. Hmm. This is an old dictionary and the candlelight and all that. That's perfect with uh, Victorian times, wasn't it? So that's cool. So let's um, let's see here. So that's going to go there. So let me go ahead and stamp these. I'm going to use different colors on mine and um, to match the pages that will be going in the kit. So first I think I'm going to go with this navy. Okay, so let me, to get started on stamping this one, let me get my little stamp block. And I'm going, this is just like a little sewing machine. It, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of um, steam, I don't have any steampunk actual stamps. So I went through and found little things that I thought from different stamp, um, what do you call them? Not stamp kits, but different sets of stamps that I had. And then what I thought would work for steampunk. And so that's what I have done is just picked out some and I think that little sewing machine looks good for steampunk it's like a little machine at least and okay let me wipe my stamp off I got some ink on it okay so now that one goes with that one let's use I did find a little um, kind of dress form mannequin thing and it had a corset on it so I thought that would go with the steampunk and I don't think I want to go navy with it though I think I'm going to go with the um, red here. Let me see if I can get that. And this is an old stamp. I have no idea what companies buy or anything. A friend of mine was getting rid of some stamps and she gave me these. And so I've just, I just held on to them because I, I um, you never know which stamps you're going to need. It's always different journals and stuff you're doing. You wind up needing um, different types of stamps. So I don't know, this is just, this one was just on a clear piece of plastic, so I have no idea what company it's from. And let's see, what else did I want to do? I have a key here. I think a key would be nice. And I will do the key in the navy, because I do like this navy on these. And I think I'm going to have my key going, do I want it up and down, or do I want it kind of sideways? I think I'll go try up and down. Let's see what it looks like. I can always, well, it went sideways. That's perfect. That'd be good. And then, I could turn it off if I don't like that. I wonder, should I have done it? Hmm, let me think. I think that'll be good. Never mind, I think that'll be good. And so now I've got one more, and I couldn't decide what to use. I don't know if I should use this one, or maybe this one. This is, because I really don't have, like I said, anything that's going to totally go with all the pages. But I think these elements on these stamps do go with the pages that I'm using. So since I've done two blue, let's do another one in the red. And this is Ranger Red Geranium. So let me see. And this is a new stamp pad that I just opened today. And I didn't even think about if that was going to fit. Let me see if I can get that to fit on there. May have went off just a little. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Okay, let me close my inks up before I make a huge mess of myself. And now, let's work on... We have these sheets that's going to go on the inside. And I'm just going to use my um, paper trimmer to cut those down. Let me just stack these up out of the way. Okay. So now, let's just trim this down. Get these little holes off this side for sure. And I'm going to trim. So let's see here. I'm going to trim it down to. Let's see if that's going to be small enough. We'll just lay that inside of our bag and see. I think I might want to trim just a little bit more off. Just a little. I'm not measuring. 
actually just eyeballing it here because um, these don't have to be perfect measurement. And then I want to cut off right, I want to cut some of this top off first. I don't like all of this extra here. I'm going to take that word memo off first off. And then let's see, let's see what we got here. Then right probably be good to do right at that line. Oops, I lost, didn't let go of it, didn't I? So I think it would be good right here at this line. There we go. So that will fit like I want it to. Okay, so now I'm going to just trim off. I can just use my scissors now and cut all of these down to the size that I need. So let's put the paper trimmer back up and just trim all these down real quick. Just need four of these. Okay. those about the right size. Got a few long ones in here. Let me just trim it back down. There we go. So how many is that? Got three. Oops, I didn't do the fourth one. So let's just take and cut the fourth one here. And it is going to have the word date on it, but I might still use that and just cover it up because I'm going to put some labels and different decorations on it so we will wait and see. If I have to I'll cut another one up. So now we're just going to glue this little flap, this little dictionary page to the flap there but first um, I did like how Roxy's, Roxy Creations, she went in and made a little um, she punched here, and I'm going to see if I can, but my punch may just be too big to fit. And I do own a smaller punch. I've just got to look and see where did I put that punch just a few minutes ago. I'm having one of those days where I am losing everything I touch. So, um, bear with me. I'm going to see, did I put it back where it belonged? No, but here is a different one. This one may work. Let's see if it'll fit. Put down in there. How am I gonna? Hmm. Let me hold them. Yeah, you know what? That would be cool. Let me see if that one inch does that way too, though. If it fits this way, and I can just yes, it does. So I'm just gonna eyeball it, and let's see if I can get get this this way. These bags are so tiny. Oh, that worked perfect. Well, I did a lot better than I thought I would. So let me go through and do that now. But yeah, I'm having one of those days I can't find anything in my craft area. And I, I cleaned up the other week and thought it would be better. But apparently when I cleaned up, I put everything in such new places and I'm just not organized. I just, I've got such a small little area that to craft in that I, um, have way too much stuff stuffed in one little area. So I've got to get better organized so I can find everything and not spend most of my time searching. So I've got some ideas of how I'm going to organize, but I've just got to find the time to do it too. So I would much rather craft than clean. So that's part of my problem is I'd rather just push everything out of the way and clean than to I mean, push everything out of the way and craft than to clean, but I'm going to have to stop crafting and do a little bit of a organization in this area. Well, that worked good, punching it like that. It was not a problem at all. And I am going to trim down just a little bit down from the corner here just to make sure that it's easy to fit everything in there. So let's see here. Cut up this corner here. That gives it just like a little V in there now so that 
we can see our tag and get our tag out of these tight little pockets. Trim down. I may have messed up there. Let's see. I got plenty of these little bags if I did. Oh, that looked good. So the punching just helps me to um, figure out where to cut and get it fairly even. I just helps me eyeball it better. So if you didn't have the punch or you couldn't get your punch to fit, you could just take your scissors and cut this. Well, these bags are a little wonky anyway, so I don't think it's going to be that big a deal of how you make this little, mm, excuse me, of how you make this little tab in here. go and then I'm just going to cut one more up here all right I think I've got them all ready to go so now let me lay these aside hopefully I can find them again so let me get my glue and let's go ahead and attach these to the flaps and I'm just trying to remember, I watched these before I went to sleep. That's when I get to watch YouTube sometimes is right before bed. And so, or as I'm in bed getting ready to go to sleep. And um, so I'm trying to remember it going off memory. So let's see, we want this one to be the stamp side up. So let's just attach it here. Press that down. And I'm going to take my paper towel and just wipe some glue off there. And let's see if that folds down. Yes, that does good. And so now, this one, we're going to add the little paper inside. And since I've cut that little V in it, did I cut it? I'm going to have to cut just a little bit more off of this. So let's just cut it here. These lines help. See, yeah, we'll just cut it like that. And I'm just going to cut up just a little. Like I said, each bag is a little different because the bags are a little wonky themselves. So, kind of have to just make it work. So, let me just add a little glue to this. Press it down. And then... We'll add some decoration. Oops, I'm going to move that just a little. See so if I can get that back up in time. Yes, it came back up quickly. That's the good thing about using the liquid glue. And I got something on it. Probably ink off my fingers. That's okay, because I'm going to fix, add some things to it anyway. And so we have some labels. I could just use that there. There's different labels that came in the kit. Some of them's going to be too big, but here is some little ones that we have. Then you have like this. That's going to be too big, I think. Let me see if I can pull that. No. I don't like that little spot. Let me um, just ink off my fingers. Maybe I can get it back off. Yeah, that came back off. That's okay. Sometimes that's what we have to do. Start over. Okay, that'll be fine there. And let me just trim this off. And then I'm just going to add it right back on there. There we go. No big deal. We fixed it. In just a second. It didn't take hardly anything to fix it, did it? I am going to make sure I cover it up there. Okay. Alrighty there. Now let's figure out where we're going to put some decorations. And I also have... Let me pull this out. I also have um, stickers that I can add to these. I've got this um, this sticker book, Antiquarian. I'm not sure how you say that, but it's Victorian stickers, which is perfect for 
the steampunk era that I'm working in. And so let's just see here what I want to add to this one. I might could use some of these stickers. I've got a little tickle in my throat, excuse me. Let's see here. What would be good? There's so many choices. Um, <laughs> let me go through it really quickly and see. I know we're back here with some more. I was trying to see if I saw a little, this little flower may be cute, or just a little bug. Let's see, we, well, no, we're working with the dress form. So let's see if we can find us a, maybe a Victorian lady. These may be too big for that. This little girl may be cute on here. I do like her with it, so I'm just going to stick her down right here. So that is cute. Okay, so we've got that one. And then, this is really thin, so I do want to add um, something here. I may do some washi, so I may wait until I'm finished since I'm my washi's across the room. So let me hold on, hold off on that for just a second. Let's just work on the next one. Just adding our dictionary page. Just gonna add that there. I'll fold it over, make sure I got it in the right spot. Because like I said, these are kind of crooked, the actual envelope is, so we can make it work. Alrighty, there we go. Well, maybe not. Let me slide it over just a little bit more. And I can just fold this little flap too to even it up. So now let's add our paper on the inside. I'm just going to have to cut it down just a little bit more. And this one has the saw machine on the front, so let me see what I can add to it. I might want to put a sticker, but we do have labels too. You know, I was just sitting here thinking while I was gluing that on. Well, they'd be, they're just not the right size because they would be too too big to be on the inside, but too small to use as a journaling spot. So let's take and look at their stickers and see. Something with machine or... Mechanical, something mechanical, maybe. Oops, what's in here? This is a beautiful book. Let me get back in where you can see it. These, this has some beautiful stickers in it. And it's a beautiful book. And it's just, I love all the different, I mean, there's flowers and there's bugs, but then there's also the, you know, fairies and mushrooms. But then there's also the steampunk things and, um, such a variety in this one. You could just sit and look through the book, and I have had this for several months, and I've had a hard time just using it because I do love it so. I do love all the pictures in it, but I, you know, I've got to quit holding on to things and be sure I use them up, so that is what I'm doing. And then when you get done, you could actually use the background, the, the back of the page is, is paper. So some of these are just too big for what I'm doing, so I may have to look around for something else to use instead of the stickers. Okay, so I paused the video to look around to see what I could add to this page, and I've decided I'm going to add a stamp on it. So what I'm going to do, I didn't find a sticker that I wanted, so I'm just going to add a stamp, and it's a, um, I think this is an old Stampin' Up! stamp, and it's just a light bulb, and I think I'm going to do it in navy, since the sewing machine was in navy as well. So I'm just going to take it and just stamp down at the bottom corner. 
Put that away. I think that's cute. That's very cute. So I like that. So let me lay that aside with the other one and set all this other way. Okay. So that's cute. So I do like that one. So we have two done. So let me work on the other two. And I need to be thinking about what I want to use to decorate the inside of them. So now I'm going to add this. Just put it right here. There we go, that's that one. Okay, so let me add this paper to the inside of this one. I apologize for all the noise in the background. It's, it's going to get noisier, I'm afraid. I may have to pause the video and come back and finish these. It's getting feeding time for the dogs, and so they eat at 5 o'clock each day, and they expect me to have it ready at 5, and so it gets a bit noisy because they get you running around and wanting supper, so I may have to um, pause and then come back and finish this, but let's see how far I can get before they get fussy. So for the inside of this one, maybe a little ticket. Let me cut one of these off and see what it's going to look like. Maybe I could add just a little ticket here. I think that would be cute right inside there. Maybe a ticket, and I do have a little, that's not the right color, it's a little number. This little label would be pretty too. Let me see which way is up. Maybe like that. Or maybe down in the corner. Let me see here. Kind of like it like that. Or I do have, I forgot I have some washi right here of like stamps. Let's see what those are like. Let me get those open and let's try those out. Okay, so let me get these open and we'll see. These are like stamps in, of Paris and different things. So, let's see what those look like. They may be too um, see-through for this. I don't know. Got to get them started. Let me just cut one off. So I like that. Just press all those little edges down. That would be cute in there. And then let me do this one. I'm going to do the same thing to Oops. I'm going to do the same thing to it. I'm just going to add a piece of washing. Here. I need another little piece of paper. So let me just cut a piece real quick. Be right here. And then, yeah, that's about right. Then I'll have to trim it off. Let me see if I can get that straighter. Got a little crooked there. And then I'm just going to trim up against this line here. And let's see how that fits. And that fits just fine. So let me add that. See that one flag? There we go. And now I think I'm just going to pull a stamp off for it as well. And let's see. Or I could. I think I'll just add that there. I like that there. So that's what I'm going to do. I think that looks cute there. And so now, 
let me take a look here. I want to put something across here, and I've thought about putting washi, or I could put these tabs that come in the kit. I don't know if those would look right or not. Let me see what colors I have here. Different ones. Let's see here. That might look cute to be on the kit. Okay, so I'm going to add the tab. I like that. Then I'm just going to attach it right there in the center. There's this kit, the um, Line Dot Arrows kit, comes with a lot of tabs. So I've cut out a few. I haven't got them all cut out yet, but I have a few cut out. Okay, so let me find my hole punch. So now let's go ahead and punch a hole in this one. And so what you want to do is just, if you haven't seen their videos, you, you take and just punch right here in the center. And you've got to punch all the way through so that your, when you put your string through, it will open. Let me find the thread I want to use. All right, so I found my string that I'm going to use, and it's just an off-white, um, I think, cotton string. And I am going to add some things to it. So I'm using some pieces that I've cut out from the um, ephemera kit. And like I said, I will link that below. And I'm just going to put a little hole in it. There we go. And let's see, that's one little piece. Maybe I'll add this one too. And layer them on top of each other. Layer those. And we've got the little key, so that'd be good. And so now, and I do have a little key charm. I could add that. So let me see here. Let me just string it on, then I'll cut what I need. So I want the little key, and then the little tag, then that little, I'm not sure what this is, like a little label. I'm just going to add that, just add it to this, and like they, like Roxy Creation said in her video, you want to make sure that it's, and Gail did too, that you leave your strings long enough that this will, you know, open up. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to you know, loop it through and then just tie it up here at the top. So there's a little knot at the top. And I think that will work. So let's see, does it open? Yes, and now we can take and put a little tag down in there. And I think I'm going to add, let's see, the key one, let's try this little tag here. And I think I'm going to have to trim it off just a little. So that's what I'm going to, that's what I was looking at. So I'm just going to trim it off right about here and let's see if that works. And if it does, then I can just trim the other one with that one. Yep, there we have it. And so you can see, you can just see it poking out there. And then you've got your little pocket and then you got your journaling spot and the little charms on it. So I think that, that one's turned out really cute. Let's if I can get my string right. There we go. That's really cute. So let me lay that one aside and let's work on this one. And I've already thought this right here, this tab it looks, would be pretty. This is a good color. Actually, I like it on that one and then I'm going to use this one with the flowers on this one since these kind of look like florals. Kind of a floral look to it. And so now let's just add this tab. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing myself scooted up here and scooted back. Okay, so then I'm just going to add another tab to it. And then just attach that there. Press it down. Okay. And then, oops, I just threw it across the room. Okay, so now we're going to, I am having a clumsy day and I can't find anything and it's rainy outside so it is just, I probably should have just took a nap today. It's really a good day to take a nap and just relax. And um, I thought crafting would be a good thing for me too. But I am so clumsy today that I'm not sure that it was a good day for me to be doing this. Okay, so now let's see. I want to add, I think I'm going to add this little tag here. These are E to B tags. And it's because I printed the kit um, half the size so that I would have some little bitty tags and whatnots here. 
And I like this one right here that says antiques on it. So let's hole punch it. And then, I don't know if it needs a little charm or not. I could add a little bit of gear. Let me see, I've got a bunch of little gears. Right here they are. Could add a tiny little gear to this one. Let's just kind of get some out and see. This is a cute little one. So let me get my string again. Take it, I'm just gonna run it through here. And then through each tag. And through the, thank you. And I just thought about it, I probably should have inked all this up. I may can go back and ink some of it. I have inked some of these little tags that I cut out. I inked those when I cut them out. But the other stuff has not been inked. I may need to go back and ink some of the edges just to give it that older look since this is supposed to be a vintage type journal. So, so let's see how this works. Okay, so there we go. We have our, see if everything's hanging on there. So we've got it all and then we'll make sure it opens up. And there, that looks really good. I like that one. Okay, and so then, let's see, put it over there with the other finished one. I'm going to add this tab to this one. And let's see here. Just center it up. Let's see which side. I want that side on the front. And that's what, when I pulled out my ink pads, I did try to get them to match the papers that I'm using. And so I thought that that red really did match good with these papers. Got that on. And so now we'll just hole punch it. Make sure I got the hole in the right spot. Don't want to get the hole into the bag because the bottom, bottom part of the bag or you won't be able to open it. Um, let's see, what do I want to add on this one? I've got some little bitty tickets. That is cute. And then, let's see, let me think here. Um, here's another little tag I could put, or even tinier tag. Thinking maybe I will, you know what, I'm going to go back and change this. I just realized, and I, I hope that I'm not the only one that doesn't think these things through, and when you get done, realize you want to change things up. I have realized I want to add the string through here, and then I'm going to use, I had laid out, and I totally forgot that I laid them out. I had laid out some um, ball pins that I wanted to hang these charms and stuff on with, so that's how I'm going to do those. So I want to take the little ball pins here and I'm just going to run my charm through and then the tag and then the other little label and then I'm just going to attach it to the string here that's how I want to do these I think that that will hang better and it does see that looks a lot better so I do like that I'm gonna do the same thing to this one so let's just cut that off real quick. Take our ball pen, put our little key on it. Lots of rattling. I've got a huge bag of these. Okay, so let's see, let's put the little, I'll hold this like this. And then let's tie our string. Forgot that I put that tag in there to make it in the way. Okay. And we're going to get our string here. Oops. We're going to tie it. And then we'll hang the charms on. And I think that will look better. And I think they'll hang better because I kept trying to see why they weren't hanging well. So now we'll just take this one and attach it here. And 
I like that. I like it hanging on there. And then we'll finish this one up now. So I'm going to um, put a little bitty hole, let me see here, into this little tag if I can. I mean this little ticket. Oops, where did it go? There we go. And this little tag. Make sure I get on the little side. And let's see here, we got the little ticket there. And let me get my string. And I think since this one doesn't have a heavy charm on it yet, I'm just going to run this one through those and then I could hang the ball pin onto one of them. And I'm sure you can hear the girls behind me. The, they're running back and forth. So it's almost supper time. So I need to get these done. So I got one more to do. And for it, it's got the sewing machine. So I definitely want to put a gear on that one. And I'm going to go ahead and punch it. Oops, no, I'm not. I'm going to add the tab first. So I'm going to add this one. I had it laid out. Then I need to put the, my glue. I realize I've been sitting here letting it dry out. Put that ball pin, not ball pin, but put that head pin back in there. And then I'm going to add this to the bag again. And I think these have turned out so cute. I really um, enjoyed watching them make them, and I, I've enjoyed making them. I think they've turned out really cute, and they're a quick little project to put together. And if you can find everything, if you're not like me and have your studio in a mess and can't find nothing. Okay, so I wanna, I'm just going to hang, first I am gonna hang a little piece of, just a little ticket off of it, of the string there. Along with, I, you know, I should put a button on that one. That would be cute. That may be what I do. Add a little button to it instead of the gear. So let me see here. Okay. I'm just going to tie this in here. That's cute. So I'm just going to add a button with that. Okay, so I dug out my little button jar and I found some buttons. So I'm just, they're not as small as I was wanting, but I'm just going to add a few. I'm just trying to decide how many I do want to add. Just trying to add a few colors that go with the kit. And then just going to add it into this little tag here. I think so I'm going to do it. In there. We'll see. That may be too many little buttons on there. Let's see how that goes. Let me see if I can get it to hang over here. So that's kind of cute. So here we've got, let me move some stuff out of the way so you can see. I think these turned out really good. I really like how um, each one is different, but will work in my steampunk journal. And I think these will also, you could change the theme of these to work in any journal. So I think I'm going to mass make quite a few of these one day. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And I hope you will like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And thank you so much for subscribing if you are already subscribed. And I um, will continue the series with my uh, steampunk journal. So I hope you'll follow along with me. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.